Right. Hello again. So I... Right now, I'll probably figure it out during the uh, process of because uh, I'm just gonna publish it on the site from one of them where the person I was with decided to talk about recording. That wasn't fun. I'll just mute the sound. Let the uh, footage roll because that's how I do it. But I don't even know what episode this is at this point. But it's fine. I'll figure it out. Smells it good. So I'm going to keep working on uh, this project for my face. Because I figure out what I can actually do my face. And that clippings aside, my base is pretty important. Probably not to get my work out of this. Which is kind of sad because I could really use all that extra dirt that I might have gotten for uh, terraforming the uh, village and just building more farms. Because, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, work on the uh... yeah. I'm gonna work on the place on both aspects here because my base will have a full cobblestone foundation, and the ground floor will be entirely cobble. this tree and get it out of the way as well.
So yeah, this is entirely where it's going to be. So this is going to take more terraform work to get it right. Had a raid on my village, though, which is not pleasant. I don't like that idea of a raid happening on my village. There we go. I got a good amount of uh, dirt. Now I use my cobblestone to uh, just, yeah. I'm gonna go actually start a quarry somewhere. Go start a quarry somewhere. Maybe I can start actually doing a quarry near here. There's so many caves around here. jumped into the ravine, which is exactly where the quarry is going to take me down anyways. I want to go deep on this now. I'm going to take this to the new bedrock. There we go.
This quarry is essentially just gonna use resources and uh, give me resources like crazy. Still got hell energy, good. Still got my hell, which is uh, working. Might actually be able to get away with uh, planting more of this. Because I think the villagers will automatically uh, plant seeds. to do the terraforming. Ah. I need dirt to make this work. I don't know why that guy's following me, but he's being really creepy about it. So we gotta start patching in the holes in the farms. Eventually I'm gonna rebuild this entire set of farmland. Eventually, I'm gonna just rebuild all of this. Because I do not like the way this village is set up to be so easily a death trap. is literally set up to be an easy death trap, but I don't like that. I can actually potentially set up another home in this little store. This tiny patch of land could probably fit in the whole time that out. Yeah, I can probably build another small home there. Fix this farmland issue too, because a lot of these farm pieces just ain't solid enough to land. Hmm. 
Like, this wouldn't be bad. I'm gonna just, uh, find some of this real quick so I can actually do that. And I can turn this into path as well. I mean, yeah. It's already starting to take shape. Obviously, I'm going to keep expanding the village. So, a lot of the dirt I'm getting out of this project is going to be expanding. Eventually, I'm going to build a wall to protect the village from the villagers. I'm going to build a great wall because it's going to become necessary. protect this village from all those damn villagers. I hate those damn villagers. I can tell how much I need in terms of a cob to fill this can. I need like literally more than 64. Take it back to where I'm working, I guess. <laughs> Completely terraforming the whole village, so yeah, it's fine. There we go.
there. Because the more farmland I get, the better. And I'm basically making it so that I can find a whole chunk of the wood and the unusable space into completed farmland. sorts of things in here that I really take advantage of. Basically just fire. Good. This means the village is slowly becoming less of a death trap for my villagers. Except it's also less of a death trap for pillagers and other hostile, hostile mobs now as well. Because it's safe for villagers and it's safe for hostile mobs to spawn too, which is the only bad side. I would have really panicked if I looked out the door and there was a pillager standing there. Because it's like they're fucking haunting me. I need to go make another hoe. He's farmed it. He just farmed all that wheat that I needed. Did I not plant here to begin with? I don't think I planted there to begin with. Well, I'm gonna go farm over here huh. first. Probably gonna redo all of this one then too in due time. Here, you do the work then. Yeah, I love how I go to make the farmer do the work and the farmer just immediately runs away. It's what I thought. Here, do something then. That's what I thought. Huh. There we go. <coughs> yeah, the melon farm is coming along nicely. Which is proven beneficial. Immediately plant all of these seeds. Probably do something really cool with that water. Make like an aqueduct style thing. That would probably look really cool. Mm -hmm. I could probably make an aqueduct style thing for that water. That would look really cool. 
is I just uh, keep farming. Actually, I have more seeds than I realized. That's good. Suddenly, the fact that I have more seeds means I can just keep planting. No, no, you don't. the footage is just me farming. That's what most of these episodes feel like are just me farming. I'm actually fill in this farm now and start to attach in this farm. I'm actually going to patch up this farmland here so I can have uh, cleaner farm. we go. That's, that's a normal amount of farmland. Wheat's going to be perfect to trade with villagers. go. Literally just a farmland. It's like, how much farmland do you need? Yes, all of the farms. converting all of this into farmland. <laughs> Let's find the farmer I've trained. Uh, uh, uh. 
No, it's not you. It's not you. It is you. Good use for the pumpkin seeds I found. I'm just gonna go to every single one of these little farms and I'm just gonna take everything. <laughs> and I just keep getting all of the seed. melon seeds that are just absolutely pointless. And so many melon plants that are just like absolutely pointless because they're not a good spot for melons. I'm getting melon seeds, which is nice. Especially this early in the game, because I know they're useful for like, potions and shit later, but uh. Just so many. And I'm just going for all the wheat. Wheat and melon seeds seem to be all happening, because I've already got a melon farm started. I have a shish. Okay. Good. You're mine. You're my farmer. There is a penis bomb right outside the door, and that's not good. How can you sleep if I can't? Looking right at me, too. This fucker's taunting me. Dash, make a mad dash, dash for house, and then sleep. Ah. I'm gonna call this to close on another episode as well. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and if you're liking this series, please give a like and a subscribe. It will really help the channel out. Thank you.